fuck did we just hear? I'm just intrigued at what we just heard. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination! And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's counting device! We shall reconstitute and remove the impurities to... Yes, fine, go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. What the fuck's going on? Yes. We shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. Who is this asshole? So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. What the hell are you? Seriously. What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a rather clumsy one at that, but it's all I can manage in a moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science. Okay. Much more elegant than shambling on is some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? How'd you come to lead this tribe? Jackson believes me to be some kind of god. You think that would be good, but his interpretations of my commands leave something to be desired. Regardless, I trust you can be more effective than he has been. I need your help for an important task. Oh. There's a troublesome ghoul who lives in Calvert Mansion. I need him destroyed and his jamming device neutralized immediately. Who are you? What do you got against the ghoul? More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Hmm. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. Wow. Hearing voices just got completed. All I needed to do was find this cave. So what's the next mission? Thought control. Okay. What do you know about Desmond? really evil and crazy. Did you tell the tribals to attack the mansion? Of course I did. But that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, hmm. those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. A minion. You're definitely the villain here. I have to go. Yes, away with... Instrument of your mighty will. He's gone. Yes, fellow seeker. Tell me about your tribe. We are a family of dreamers, a band of astral explorers, and a church of mind. In time, we will be free of the horrors of the base physical world. We will play amongst the pure thoughts of the universe. How do you lead the tribe? I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school as we swim through the astral seas, exploring, learning, and becoming more. What the fuck is he talking about? But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. The shining mind speaks to me in my meditation. That stupid hologram. Guides us always. Wow, you're an idiot. I knew they were idiots. I told you they were idiots. Why'd you attack the mansion? We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul. His presence is an offense to the transcendent master's astral dominion. They're so stupid. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's resident caused such disruption, however. To understand fully, ask the master. Yeah, I did, and he told me all I needed to hear. Fuck you, dummy. Okay, so either I could kill the ghoul and do the villainous way, or I can... Tell the ghoul everything I just learned, and Desmond will probably tell me the true story about what's going on here. More than likely, that's what I'm going to do. There's coffins all over the place. What the hell? This Jackson is a moron. Oh, there's a ladder to point lookout. That's convenient. I don't have to walk back. 
He's going up it, and I'm going up it. Fuck that. Blah, blah, blah. Shut your face. I don't want to hear your story. I'm right outside the cathedral. Wow. Well, I don't... What? what? Wait a minute. Where's it telling me to go? Nope. Tell me to go down to Desmond. That's what I'm going to do. Tell Desmond the skinny, and let's see what he has to say. Alaska liberated. Good shit. I liberated it. That's right. No, I actually didn't. But Operation Anchorage was fun. Alright, let's give Desmond the lowdown on what's going on. He deserves to know. He's a ghoul. It doesn't only affect the face. It also affects the cock and balls. So I feel bad for this guy. He's probably got a dick like a cocktail wiener. behind all this. <laughs> After all the years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Who is this brain thing, anyway? Him. <clears throat> I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland hmm. back when there was a Maryland to That's own. correct. That's true. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president until that scandal with the dog forced him to drop out of the race. Scandal with the dog, huh? I was particularly proud of that one. Ah, 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 you did it! You know this guy, what's going on here? Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. Centuries? I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. Huh? I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Uh, what is this, the fucking Highlander? Alright, so you, now you want me to do something else, right? Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? I could say, watch your tone, right, right, or there better be something good at the end of this. Let's say, maybe you should watch your tone. Oh, what? <laughs> you think I haven't been shot before? Think that you, over the thousands who have tried, can take me down? You'd best wise the hell up and play along. I'll get what I want, and you'll get rich, and then we can go about our separate goddamn ways. What do you want me to do? Oh, I can't wait to... What do you want me to do? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. <laughs> What's your plan? If I know Professor Calvert, and I do, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. Okay. All you need to do is take it to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? Yeah, easy. The highest point. That big wheel down by the docks. Ah, the Ferris wheel. I've been there before, yes. Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. Dude, your fucking I'll mouth is ridiculous. How off. dare you? Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go. Never heard fucking so much in my life. Fucking, fucking, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. 